Afghan officials say a suicide car bomber has attacked government offices in eastern Afghanistan, killing two people and wounding at least 70, including several NATO service members. Authorities say the Friday morning blast took place in Maidashar, the capital of rested Wardak province. An ISAF spokesman said the explosion took place near the Wardak provincial governor's compound and that several coalition service members received minor injuries. So we can confirm that this morning in Maidashar district in Wardak province, an unidentified explosion near the Wardak provincial governor's compound caused minor injury to several coalition service members, and possibly more serious injuries to an unidentified number of local civilians, said spokesman Charlie Statlander. We're still assessing the situation and will release more information as appropriate. The Taliban has claimed responsibility for the attack, saying it was in response to the executions this week of four Taliban detainees at the pool e Cherkut prison on the outskirts of Kabul. The four Taliban members were among a total of 14 executed on Tuesday and Wednesday. Those put to death were convicted of crimes, including murder and rape. The mass executions were condemned by the United Nations the European Union and human rights groups. Executions were common in Afghanistan under the rule of Taliban, which put people to death for murder and adultery. The use of the death penalty has been rare in Afghanistan since the Taliban fell from power in 2001.